x minus 2 over 3 plus x plus 1 over 8 equals 5 over 6. Okay, again, we have a linear equation, but they have fractions. Um, and we have to get rid of the fractions somehow. Oh, how do we do that again? Ah, remember, we have fractions, we look for the lowest common denominator. All right, what is the lowest common denominator of 3, 8, and 6? So if I double the big one, that gives me 16, but 3 doesn't go into 16 and 6 doesn't go into 16, so it can't be that. If I triple the big one, 3 times 8 is 24. 3 goes in 24, yes it does. 6 goes in 24, yes it does. Ah, I found my lowest common denominator. It happens to be the same one. So I'm going to multiply the left side by 24, and of course if I multiply the left side by 24, I must make sure I multiply the right side by 24 as well. There we go. So we multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. Then, just to make it simpler, I'm going to then distribute the 24 on each term inside the brackets. So this becomes 24 multiplied times x minus 2 over 3, plus 24 multiplied times x plus 1 over 8. And on the right side, it becomes 24, while well, nothing changes there, times 5 over 6. All right. So what's the next step again? Well, we go ahead and notice that 3 goes into 24 exactly 8 times, so this can be simplified to 8 times x minus 2, plus 8 goes into 24 exactly 3 times, so 24 divided by 8 is 3, so this becomes 3 times x plus 1, and 6 goes into 24 exactly 4 times, so this becomes 4 times 5. So now we've turned the, the equation from something with fractions into an equation with parentheses. That's okay. We then still stick with the first step. Now we go ahead and simplify it by eliminating the, the parentheses. So we distribute the 8 over the x and the minus 2. We distribute the 3 and we distribute the 4. Well, there's only one number there, so that's simple. So here that becomes 8x minus 16 plus 3x plus 3 equals 20. And now we have a simple linear equation without any fractions, without any parentheses, and we follow the remainder of the steps to solve for that equation. So the first step, or I should say the second step here, says move all the terms with the x to the left, but they're already there, so we don't need to do that. Then it says move all the constant terms to the right. We have the 20 over here, but the minus 16 and the 3 have to move the other side. So that becomes 8x plus 3x equals 20, so we move the minus 16 across, becomes a plus 16, and we move the plus 3 across, becomes a minus 3. Then it says step number 4, combine all like terms, 8 plus 3 is 11x, 20 plus 16 is 36, minus 3 is 33, and then divide both sides by the numerical coefficient, so divide the left side by 11, divide the right side by 11, this cancels out, we have x equals 33 by, the, by 11 is 3. And that's the answer of our problem. Okay, or more properly said, it's the solution to our linear equation.